Listen. And now, Mr. Neely Fuller. If you do not understand white supremacy, which is racism, what it is and how it works, everything else that you understand will only confuse you. Only confuse you. Only confuse you. I know you. I know your father, your grandfather. I had them in chains. You can get in each other's face. You can run around with your little nine millimeter killing each other. Don't you get in my face at all. I'll let you talk and act. Sometimes let you talk and act tough to me. But remember, I'm letting you do this. Because I don't have to let you do anything, including breathing. And there's nothing can stop me. And you don't know anybody who's big enough to do it. So quit acting. And that's what I say in the books that I've written. We need to stop being actors. We're always talking about keeping it real. That's black people in the Northwestern Hemisphere. But we're the most unrealistic people on the planet. Quietly looked upon as a bunch of jokes. But people talk nice to us because they don't want to be bothered with us. They'll talk nice, but at the same time in their thoughts, they couldn't think anything else except these people are just about completely worthless as any creatures can possibly be. And how do I say that? I'm talking about this is the voice of the white supremacists now because I have made them that way. The only way they get to be worth anything is when I make them worth something. I tell them what they are worth. They don't know. They don't even know what to do with themselves when they get up in the morning, except what I tell them. Go here. Go there. That's the only time they make sense. Other than that, they don't know anything. And proof of it is I can say, hey, I'm going to make some hats out of hubcaps. I got surplus hubcaps in my warehouse on some cars that I haven't even manufactured yet. And I don't know what to do with those sur surplus hubcaps. I don't want to throw them away. I got millions of them. But I got a bunch of black people out there who are just looking for something to do. They don't know what to do. They just look at this great big universe, the great big world, look up and down the streets. They don't know what to do or where to go at any given moment. So I always, as usual, find something for them to do. So the next thing I'll do is the little money I've allowed them to have, I'm going to take these hubcaps that I ordinarily would put on some cars, and I'm going to say that they are no longer hubcaps, that they are hats. And I'll have all these millions of black people walking around with these hubcaps on their heads. And give it a fancy name like uh, Zapsters. You know. And people will be asking, what's a Zapster? Hey, man. That's the new hats, man. I mean, you square. You don't know what's up. You don't know. You, you, haven't, you haven't bought you a Zapster yet? $800 a piece, man. I got two of them. <laughs> My buddy got them at a discount. He works over there where they got the stuff stored. And some... White supremacist, about 23 years old, right out of college, thought up the idea. We'll sell them to the black people. We don't have to throw them away. Call them zapsters. What's a zapster? That's a hat, a hat that black people wear. That's the identifying thing. They always need something to identify themselves with, as if their skin color doesn't identify them enough. They always got to have something artificial, something that I made up. Or if they make it up, I'll be the one who will control it and I'll sell it to them. 
put a little money that I allowed them to have and have them out here killing each other and have them. And a name like Zapsta would be appropriate, too, because they'd be zapping other black people trying to get them. Put five shots in somebody and grab that Zapster. Keep it in the closet for about a week and then come out wearing it. A hubcap. That's the way millions of us think. Rather than say, wait a minute. I'm not doing nothing of the kind. I'm not going out and buying none of that stuff. I mean, I'm not going to even wear it if they give it to me. I'm going to start doing some thinking for the first time in my existence on my own. Now, some people have said they've seen some cartoons of my work uh, on the Internet that have been presented and that... Uh, it pretty well embellishes what I have been trying to say in my textbooks. And uh, to the extent that it does that, well, that has been, from what I understand, some people reported to me a plus. Because they didn't understand what I had written very well, but when they saw those cartoons that just repeated what I was saying and attaching my name to it and uh, came right out of the book, the material did, uh, they say that they better understood it. And I can understand that because people are kind of visual, particularly in the year 2021 now, uh, more visual than ever.